everybody oh, welcome to my youtube i'm jen today i have an unboxing for you it'll be my first july unboxing um let's make art um this month i only got the journaling um they no longer do the lettering so i didn't get that um the watercoloring i'm skipping this month so let's take a look um actually before we take a look i typically show you what i've created in the last month and I have to tell you, I really didn't create anything this month um, for Let's Make Art um, journaling. Not because they didn't do a good job, I'm sure they did an amazing job, but simply because I got too busy. I didn't have time to watch their videos. Absolutely look forward to catching up and watching them. Um, but I do still have my little journal from the month before that I did add a couple of things to before I got the box or immediately after I got the box last, last month. So not following any of their tutorials I created. So this is going to be a mixture of a bunch of months now. Um, but, um, if you see it, I finished, I believe I finished the cover. Um, this wasn't finished last time I showed you. So added some paint. Um, definitely has, if the, I think some of the words were there. Anyways, so there's that. Um, these pages were already there. I created these pages immediately after I got the box. Um, so I was playing with the jelly print, um, and then I was playing with the feather. I don't know what, um, exactly how she does it, but I was just playing around before the videos were released because they release the videos week by week. So I can't just, as soon as I get the box, start playing. Well, I can, but I can't start watching their videos until um, that month. So that's kind of a negative for me simply because I'm the type that wants to do it. Like right now, as soon as I open this, I will want to do all the projects. <laughs> but I can't because they separate them out within the month, <clears throat> which is great. Um, but then it also gives me time to play outside of their um, instructional videos. So these were also pages that I created that day. Um, just playing around with the supplies. These ones were already there. You've already seen these. This was a, a month before tutorial. Um, oh, these are pages I created after I got some gorgeous papers from a friend of mine, Darkest Ravens Designs. Um, this was one of my boxes, playing with the watercolor paints. This is also another one of my boxes and looks like I got stuck together a little bit, but that's okay. It's still gorgeous. This was part of their instructions the month before. Um, this was me playing with a brand new set of paints I got um, that I don't seem to have near me, um, but they're like black watercolors. I really like them. Um, they have like a muted effect. That looks awesome on this black paper. I really like having this book around, um, if nothing else, just to throw stuff in and play around um, as I get them. So, um, Messenger of Grace, this was one of their videos. Lots of empty pages. This is me just playing around. I ended up with it upside down, but absolutely love it upside down now. And that actually might be it. Oh no, this was, I was playing with the jelly plate on this too. I also got a, a new stencil from Simon Says Stamp. So I was playing around with that and some real leaves. Trying to see um, if I could preserve them without them shriveling up. And I think I did a pretty good job. So I like those pages as well. Um, this one I was just painting the back of this one. Trying to keep it to cover just that spot. I got out a little bit, but I was using the roller, playing around with the roller. I felt like the roller stuck a little bit. Um, so that was just me trying to work that out. Um, and then this page, I really love this page. Um, it's made with one of the leaves they sent, or feathers, I said leaves, but feathers they sent, um, a jelly printed background, um, bubble wrap, uh, I think this is gesso bubble wrap gesso on top of it and then I just cut it out and stuck it in here so I love that so anyways that is what I did um not too much of their instructions but I definitely played around with their supplies 
immediately after getting it last month. So let's see what's inside this month. I actually don't have any idea. I haven't seen any spoilers. Um, I don't know why, but for some reason this last month just went by so fast. Um, and I mean, I can't blame work, so <laughs> works great, works fast, um, but not any faster than normal. So at least as far as I don't work any extra hours or anything like that. So um, let's see what they sent. So spoiler alert, you're good at this. And then we've got the letter from her um, that explains it. Also explains Let's Make Part Matter, which is a postcard program that they do to send postcards out um, just to send some good vibes to people that might need it. it. Tells you about their Facebook page. Here, if you want to read it, take a picture. <laughs> um, and I've read it in my previous, previous openings, so definitely take a look at those if you haven't seen it before. Um, looks like this month we're doing um, Momentary Wander. Um, so being an adult can be tough. We, As we get older, more responsibilities fill our schedule, and having fun seems less of a priority. Channeling your inner child, slowing down, and allowing yourself some momentary wander. Wonder, wander. Wander <laughs> can be a great way to spark new ideas. Whether you are blowing paint through a straw, journaling, a fond memory, or folding a tiny note, we hope these projects will remind you not to take life so seriously. I like that. Okay, so let's see what we got. So this is the cards. Um, we will look at that after. Put that there. Looks like we have some spray. Um, shimmer spray by Dilution Shimmer. Shim Ugh. I cannot talk today. Dilution's Shimmer Spray in London Blue. Um, I gotta do it. I have to spray it. Let's see if I had it, but I don't. So um, let's just open it up and I will show you what it looks like. I really need to get a new blade. This one is so dull. It's going to end up cutting something. But it's not supposed to cut like my finger. Okay. Come on. That worked. There we go. So with the with dilution sprays, you gotta shake them up really well, um, but you don't want to shake them to any point that it will get up in the tube. Um, so you just shake it side to side, around in circles. My camera can't keep up. And then here, let's just do it right on the box. Look at how pretty that is. And it's supposed to have a shimmer to it. So we'll see when it dries, if it has a shimmer. Um, next up, ooh, we have a Distress Crayon in Picket Fence, which is a white color. So that'll be fun. I'd swatch that for you, but white on white. Oh, let's put it, put it on the black. There you go. Um, I think with these, you can use them with water, you can smudge them. Um, they're actually kind of cool. We have our Yes Paste, which I prefer gel medium, but it's nice that they include that. We have some <laughs> Dilutions Peony Blush Paint. The label is on this way. So I guess you store it standing up, um, and that maybe is why. I don't know. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, so it is like paint. Oh, it probably has a thing on it. Stop the paint from coming out. Yep. They have sealed this sucker 
so well in two different ways. So there you go. Pretty pink, Pepto Bismol color. Nothing wrong with that. So, and I do think it's neat that the bottle has the label this way. So I guess they're saying, hey, store me this way. So you store it upside down, just like that. Um, next up is some glitter gel stickles. Funny thing is I won a Instagram live um, from them a few weeks back, uh, maybe a month back. And I already have one and this one's open. So let me show you what that is with Ranger. Um, yeah. So this is like a glitter glue type thing with um, stars in it. So, here we go. And of course, it's picking up the overspray from the purple or the blue. Um, so, normally the blue is not there, it's like a gold color. So, there you go. See that? Um, and then when it dries, all you see is the glitter and the stars. So very nice that that's included. Um, be excited to use that. I've been playing around with mine, but not too much. Next up we have the Gorgeous Traveler's Notebook. It is the same one they usually put in here. Um, and then we have the papers. And we have how to fold a note. You know, I haven't done that since high school, so that'll be fun. That'll be a fun thing to put in an art or um, junk journal too. Sorry, I have to get rid of the plastic. So there's how to fold a note right there. And here is bottled up passing notes heart work. Um, gorgeous clouds. We cannot switch pages today. There we go. Some more gorgeous clouds. You can kind of see, I was gonna say, you can kind of see a heart behind it, but that's the next page. So these are just little colors. Here are some shapes for us for this month. That makes you wonder. Here, the colors are kind of dry. Can you see the shimmer in that? Very pretty. And then I don't know if you can see the shimmer in the... It's still wet too. Okay, so there is that. And then let's take a look at this one. So in here we have a straw. So apparently we're gonna blow bubbles like she said in her intro. And then we have the cards. So this one is the address. If you want to send a postcard to our Let's Make, Make Art Matter recipient this month, there's also graphite paper in here. Um, and then, oh, let me tell you all about Kylan Join J Ugh, Jones. Every month we come together as a community to create small acts of kindness through art. This month we're sending encouragement to Kylan. Six-year-old Kylan was born with a blood disorder called thalazioma. Thalazioma. Um, requires blood transformations every two to five weeks. She's participated in an FDA-approved clinical trial in hopes of finding a cure that requires her to be away. Of finding a cure. Um, yeah, so 
basically, <laughs> the way this is written, I'm sorry, um, it's not just me reading it, but it's the way it's written, but she participated in an FDA-approved clinical trial in hopes of finding a cure. That has required her to be away from her home in Montana. Recently becoming healthy and stable, she got... Okay, so this month's, there's the address. This month's Let's Make Art Matter goes to Kylan. Six-year-old Kylan was born with a blood thinner, a blood disorder called thalazioma, requiring blood transfusions every two to five weeks. She participated in an FDA-approved clinical trial in hopes of finding a cure that required her to be away from her home in Montana. Recently becoming healthy and stable, she got to come home um, so we want to celebrate her homecoming. Just join us at the end of the month to create Happy Mail for Kylan. We'll release a video tutorial on the Let's Make Art YouTube channel. You do not have to be a member to participate. If you want to send this to um, Kylan, please do. There is her address. I absolutely can share that. You also can always check Let's Make Art Matter um, or email Let's Make Art Matter to get the addresses and information for their Let's Make Art Matter for the month. And these videos are always public, so you can take a look at any of the Let's Make Art videos anytime you want on their YouTube. I'm losing my voice. Okay, so now we have the prompts and the techniques. Um, you combine the prompt and technique cards, as always, um, to make your creation. So we have memories and feelings, reflections, and note to your younger self. Ooh, that's interesting. Um, and then in addition to those prompts, you have the techniques. Um, so technique, heart work. Um, so this one you will make a heart. So you will spray the blue, um, you will blow it around with your straw um, you will take a copy of the heart um, by using the graphite paper, um, transfer it to your book, and then you will paint it in. And it looks really cool. Um, looks like that. And it says Momentary Wonder. Um, next one's called All Bottled Up. And basically you are making jars. So you paint the background. Um, paint two jars, and then it looks like one one jar will cover up the top, and so it's like it's all bottled up. So you put in a quote or something, um, and then you put the page over the top. Very cool. Definitely check out her videos. I'm sure she will explain it much better. And then this one, um, also these are all mo these are all momentary wonders. So this is all bottled up. This one is heart work. And this one is called Passing Notes. And this one you actually paint the background like a cloud, which is super cool. Um, and then you make a little note. And then you wrap up the note. Um, you draw a little paper airplane. And then there's a little note that you can always open up. And this will go great with the note to younger self. So there you have it. That is the month of July. I can't believe it's July almost already. Um, let's make art journaling. Let me know what you think of this box in the comments below. Um, if you get the box, what your favorite thing is. And also, as always, thanks always. As always, thank you for watching. Sorry I couldn't talk today. Um, have a great day.